Swadik up and welcome to another Phuket Extra and thank you to AKA Thailand. The CEO of the Tiger Group has been found guilty of all charges for the blaze at the Tiger Disco back in 2012. The killed four and injured another 11. He was sentenced to three years in jail and fined 600,000 baht. But because he'd never been convicted before, the court reduced the sentence to a two-year suspended sentence. The court also ordered Kun Pia Isamalai to pay 5.6 million baht in compensation to the families of those who died and costs for funeral services and repatriation costs. It's time to say goodbye to Phuket's governor of the past two years. Governor Nisa Jamsamwong is moving to Nontaburi province, close to Bangkok. He's had a tumultuous year in Phuket's top job where his handling over the beach clearances has drawn a lot of criticism by both those who want the sunbeds back and others that want a complete clearance of commercial activity. His replacement will be former Vice Governor Jamlun Tipeyapong Tada. Jamlun was born in Phuket and had some earlier success back in 2013 by clearing Kata Beach of its night restaurants. If you've bought an ace condo over the past few years, you'd be wondering what's going on. The condominium project was meant to be finished in April this year, but not a brick has been laid. And in the investigation into the case where many of the buyers are suing the developers, the court papers have yet to be delivered. The chief of Katu police station says one of the key defendants is in hospital about to give birth. So the files have yet to be passed to the court. Coming up next, news from around Thailand, Buddhists walking 1,200 kilometres to visit the PM, two Indians being questioned over the bombing, and another bungee jump gone wrong. All coming up next on Phuket Extra. Welcome back to our daily look at the Phuket and national news, thanks to AKA Thailand. Representatives of Buddhists from the south of the country have arrived in Bangkok after walking 1,200 kilometres from Patani to highlight their plight and petition the PM to stop the separatist violence. Muslim separatist insurgents have long operated in the Muslim-dominated southmost provinces, but the violence has been particularly bad since 2004. 6,300 soldiers, teachers and monks have been killed by the violence. Thai authorities are questioning two Indian men seen at the apartment block where explosives were seized 10 days ago, expanding a complex investigation into the deadly Bangkok bombing that remains shrouded in mystery. Police say the two were seen on CCTV cameras entering and leaving the rooms many time prior to the bombing. Thai authorities are no closer to establishing a motive for the high-profile attack that killed 14 foreigners, 6 Thais and injuring over 100. And if you needed any more evidence not to ever do a bungee jump, here's another reason from Bangkok today where a Brazilian jumped off a bridge. Looks like they got the sums wrong and he slammed into the river. Well, good news, he's okay, but it could have been another Thai bungee statistic. And before we go to our own weather today, let's check out this weather presenter in Wales who's tackled a Welsh town name without blinking an eye. Now today we had a big contrast in temperature across the UK, just 12 degrees over coastal parts of eastern England with cloudy skies, but in the sunshine in northwest Wales at RAF Mona, just up the road from Llanbair Pwllgwingyllgogedekwyndrobochllantysiliogogogoch, the temperature got to 21 Celsius at 70 in Fahrenheit. All right, time now to check our own weather. Well, some more rain ahead, 29 and 31, right throughout the forecast period. Scattered thunderstorms all the way through to Sunday. And as we head to the west coast, tomorrow's surf report and winds from the southwest up to 27 kilometres an hour and a swell from the west of up to 1.2 metres. Tomorrow's sunrise, 16 past 6. Well, that's all for Phuket Extra today. Thank you to AKA Thailand and thank you to you for watching. We're back again tomorrow. See you then. 
the luxury of simplicity. Barn My Cow Phuket is a luxury low-rise beachfront condominium on My Cow Beach. The ideal destination for those who truly appreciate peace and serenity, along with an absolute 70-meter beach frontage. Just 15 minutes from Phuket International Airport, Barn My Cow is a five-star all the way. Fully furnished rooms in an ideal holiday destination start only at 55,000 Thai baht per month. If you're looking for a luxury holiday rental, contact us at 076-681-188 or reservationrfh at gmail.com.